The island nation of Sri Lanka is a country best known for its ancient history, beautiful scenery and welcoming people. Rich in culture and passionate about sport, the country of 21 million people has experienced a turbulent past, but with recent troubles behind it, the country is now looking forward. Laureus has supported the Foundation of Goodness project in the south of Sri Lanka for almost 10 years, helping to rebuild rural communities which were devastated by the catastrophic 2004 tsunami. With help from Laureus, the Foundation of Goodness has been able to expand its sports facilities and the accompanying educational programs, giving local young people new opportunities and hope through sport. Recently, the most successful male rower of all time and Loris Academy member, Steve Redgrave, arrived in Sri Lanka to see the work of the project and how Loris contributes to the ongoing success of the Foundation of Goodness. Um, I'm here with, uh, with Loris at um, one of the projects that we've been supporting. We've been out here for, for a number of years, um, dating back to, to the tsunami in 2004. Steve Redgrave is one of the most decorated athletes in the history of sport. In an illustrious career spanning 16 years, the British rowing legend competed in five Olympic Games, winning five gold medals. Following his retirement in 2000, the rowing hero capped his sensational career by winning the Laureus Lifetime Achievement Award. It's uh, a very, very special honour. I'm very, very proud. And thank you very much. Keen to give back to society, Steve became a member of the Laureus World Sports Academy in 2011, where he joined fellow Academy members in supporting the Laureus Sport for Good Foundation. As a Laureus Academy member, Steve has visited Sport for Good projects around the world to inspire a younger generation. Visiting the Foundation of Goodness, Steve witnessed firsthand how the project has grown, combining sport with educational programs to give the youngsters skills that will help them in their later lives. Here at, the, uh, at this academy, it's just absolutely so impressive. Oh, from those darkest days, the way they've been able to turn it around, certainly the way that uh, they're looking about sustaining it, about education, about helping the community, um, all the things that we really stand for within, within Norris. One of the key sports of the programme is cricket, a national passion in Sri Lanka. And Steve joined in with the Project Kids as they played a game. This is always the fun things of, of coming round to projects, of actually getting involved with the youngsters. And I certainly had fun, and I think I got bowled out four times and caught twice, so I think they had some fun as well. Hey, well cool. <laughs> The visit was made even more special as one of the project participants was selected as the winner of the latest IWC Schaffhausen drawing competition. Steve, along with a representative from Laureus founding partner IWC Schaffhausen, was on hand to break the good news. The idea was to try to find a way to give back to the community, putting a drawing competition across the, the different projects around the world through Loris um, was actually quite, uh, quite exciting. Children from the 100 Loris projects around the world are set the task of producing a design suitable for the reverse of a special edition IWC watch based around a selected sport for good theme. The winning design is engraved on the back of a limited edition watch, the sales of which raise funds for the Sport for Good Foundation. The winner of this year's IWC drawing competition was eight-year-old Kumara, whose drawing was especially poignant. But certainly the design that, uh, that has been done, it's sort of, uh, of, of young people just enjoying life. And you can imagine of the situation that uh, some of these people have been through, to have that sort of shining light in some ways of, of happiness is, is really, really very special. Yeah. Then you come to communities like this and see the fantastic projects that are going on, how it's inspiring the young within netball and swimming as well. Uh, it gives you hope sport can change people's lives. 